Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, the start to a great week. At least that's when this film is being released. Don't be alarmed if it's some other day. It just means that you weren't here for the launch. Not sure where you were, but I'm sure you had a good reason for not being here. We are here to ready to welcome you today. As you know, on Thursdays, we do a lot of wine, beer, and mixed drinks, cocktails, you name it. And a lot of the times we'll tell you kind of like, you know, what you should eat with it. What does it pair well with? So today uh, we thought that we'd start doing some pairings. Now I'm not gonna do any drinks today because it's Monday and everybody tries to be, you know, better on Monday, right? We're gonna start that diet on Monday. No more drinking and then, you know, Monday comes. So uh, I got myself a, a pork tenderloin here, um, which I really love, pork tenderloin. And I thought a great way to, um, to showcase this would be to uh, show you one of the really very super simple uh, rubs that we make that goes great on pork and uh, chicken also as well. It's an ancho chili rub, right? And there's uh, four ingredients, so it's super easy. Now, in, in case Parnell the chef is watching, uh, you may see him in the comments there. Show him some love if you, if you haven't already. Definitely uh, check out some of the things that he's been doing. But uh, I thought to myself, you know, an ancho chili rub, this would be something I think that he might enjoy. Super simple recipe. Let's get started. You're gonna need ancho chili powder. If you can't find ancho chili powder, you may find full dried out ancho chilies, um, which will also work, but you're gonna have to grind them down. Or you could just sub in some regular chili powder if, if ancho is not readily available in your supermarket. Uh, anchos are they're not super spicy they have more of a sweet almost like a nutty flavor to them which is nice I think it goes well on a lot of different things but it really excels on pork we're also going to use some paprika if you could get smoked paprika great I have some of this Hungarian paprika that we got on a, a recent trip um, you know to Budapest and uh, surrounding area so we're going to use this if you have smoked paprika it's going to do you real well sea salt and some brown sugar Let's mix it up. Two tablespoons of ancho chili. One tablespoon of smoked paprika. Two teaspoons sea salt. One teaspoon brown sugar. All right, we got it all in the dish, and now we mix it up. Just smelling it makes you want to like, probably not a good idea. All right, the only thing we need to do now is uh, apply to our pork tenderloin. Um, I also have our cast iron preheating here in the back. So we're gonna cook this, get a nice, uh, nice char on it. And uh, that's it. That is the really super simple, easy to do. No, uh, no real tools necessary, just a spoon and some measuring equipment. And uh, you got yourself an ancho chili rub pork tenderloin. It's a great way to start a Monday, if I think. So uh, don't forget to join us. Uh, don't forget to join us on Thursday. But before you leave, make sure you comment below. Tell us if you've ever tried this. Tell us if you're going to try it. Please do try it and then come back and tell us it was great. And uh, we'll catch you next week. Buzz with your cuz on Thursday. Maybe some more fruit on Monday. <laughs>